Welcome to Getting Started with Africa Stalking. In this series, we'll be going over how you can take advantage of our APIs, as well as explore brand new opportunities and implementation techniques that um, will help you uh, get the most out of our platform. My name is Anthony Kiplimo. I'm the Developer Relations Lead for Africa Stalking. You can find me on Twitter at Anthony Limo if you have any further questions after this video. Now let's set the agenda for this video. The first thing we will be checking out is signing up and logging in, uh, creating an app and finding your API key, as well as the difference between the live and sandbox environments. Let's begin. Signing in is pretty easy. Um, you could either do it um, using your username and password or, e or email and password combination or using GitHub and Google. Remember that when you sign up with Google or GitHub, um, please remember to reset your password just to create um, a brand new uh, password for your account just so that you can be able to access um, your API key, for example. Now let's log in. This is my own personal account. Um, and the first thing that we will go over is the difference between um, the sandbox and the live environment. In the sandbox, um, just click here. Within the sandbox, you get to experiment with all our services without having to be charged. This is a virtual environment and a playground for you to be able to test our services and learn how to make the most out of them. We have a couple of interesting things here. We still have access to our API key, which is found under settings and all the other on all the products, um, all of them simulated to look completely and behave as similar as possible to the live environment. Um, we also have the simulator, which is basically um, a virtual phone that allows you to test the services. Since you're on the sandbox, you cannot use live numbers or um, actually use the services in real life. But what you can do is use this, this uh, virtual phone to test out all the services from payments, uh, voice, airtime, SMS, and USSD. For you to go live, there's a concept of Teams. Teams allow you to have multiple applications and multiple uh, persons within, within your team. Now let's check it out. You have, here I clearly have a couple of apps um, and there's only one owner, but I could add a member um, with an email address and provide them with particular permissions on how to access the platform. Let's jump into the coolest application or application as I, as I called it. Um, and the first thing you see is this dashboard. Um, very, uh, very segmented um, and very configurable. And you can choose what kind of chats you want to see. Um, for me, I'd leave, let me say, I put up bulk SMS, airtime, um, USSD and payments, right? And once I save it, it will reconfigure um, as, as, as appropriate. And you can be able to, to change the size of each one of them um, to look a little bit different. Um, make it bigger, make it smaller. Um, it's all up to you. And you can refresh in case you want the latest data at any one point in time. We have SMS, voice, USSD, airtime, payments, um, and IoT, which is a brand new product that we have. We also have the ability, you have, you have the ability to now check out uh, a couple of interesting things around billing. So billing, happens on an app-to-app -app basis compared to um, happening on a project level. So in each of them, you have different payments, me payment methods, and we support different all kinds of payment methods across all the all these separate countries. Um, if you're not in a country where we support M-Pesa or any mobile money, uh, PayPal and then wire transfers are often the best way to go. But PayPal is something that we recommend. You can also see a history of your top-ups. Um, and how you've been spending money as well on the platform. You can also have your API key. Um, here, all you need to do is put in your password and we will generate a brand new API key um, for you. Remember to keep this API key safe. This is how we know that it is actually you accessing the platform. So make sure to always keep your API key safe. Now, now that we've understood the difference between the sandbox and the live environment, Let's look into something a bit a bit more interesting. Previously, we introduced the sandbox, which basically allowed this playground environment um, that allows you to test out our services without being charged. Now, let's take it one step further. Here is 80 developers. 
And the goal behind this platform is not only to provide documentation, which is available right here, and you can find out everything that you need to, to know about the API, how do you access the different services, and what are the parameters, and what are the expected responses from the API. Also, we have live code samples that you can actually run at any one point in time. And each one of these code samples has been tested and actually runs um, perfectly. All you have to do is put in your, your username, your API key, um, and the numbers that you want to send the messages to, for example, in this messaging example, um, as well as the message. And if you have a short code or sender ID, this is where you would add it, add it in. Now, there's a really fun aspect to this platform, which is you can actually run this code. So when I click run code, you actually get to this um, tutorial that's hyper interactive. So what we have, you can actually edit these files. You can um, add in your API key um, and your username and be able to run the code um, live. So what we've done here is basically create um, an online platform that, uh, that Sakam navigates the challenge of setting up your environment and allows you to test out our services without having to install too much on your machine. Now, you can use this to do all kinds of things. Um, clearly here, there's some um, errors, um, but most of it is because we've just left generic um, placeholders um, for, for authentication and also the messages and, and everything else. However, this is very important for us to, to understand that it's easy to get started on the Africa Stocking platform. Everything is provided and we keep on trying to improve the experience as you learn how to use our APIs. Until next time, um, this is Anthony Kiplimo. We will be going over building actual applications from now on. So stay tuned for a lot more interesting tutorials.